Hello everyone. Um, as, let's see, I am going to figure this out in a sec, but um, hi, I'm Marie Lou, and I am so excited to talk with all of you today and with Jessica. So let me first, okay. let me first figure out how to add somebody. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Hope you all are doing well. Mm -mm, please bear with me. This is seriously my second time using IG Live. So if something goes wrong, you'll know why. Oh, thank you guys. In LA, it's 5 p.m. right now. I just saw this question. Hello, hello, hello. my hair thing. Thank you. I've gotten a little into hair bands because of the pandemic um, and I haven't gotten a chance to get a haircut. So this is my solution to all of my flyaways. Oh, thank you for the sweet words on my bookshelf. I just moved so this was my chance to actually organize my my bookshelf. Um, I am just waiting here, so. Okay, here we go. I see Jessica trying Yay! Okay. Hi. I think this is working now. <laughs> Hi, Jess. I think Can you hear, hear me okay? Hi, Marie. Yay! Now I'm so glad we're able to do this. I was super nervous for a second. <laughs> oh my gosh, me too. I was like, why isn't this working? <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Um, it's good. early morning for me. I'm not a morning yeah. person, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. <laughs> That's always good. Um, yay, I'm so glad we connected. So I'm going to go ahead and yes! start by introducing everyone. Um, so my name is Marie Lu. Um, I am a YA author of science fiction and fantasy, um, most recently of a book called Sky Hunter. And mostly I am a fan of our very special guest today, um, who really needs no introduction, but I'm going to do uh. it anyway. Um, this is Jessica Jung. I know all of you know who Jessica Jung is, but Jessica Jung is a K-pop superstar. She's an actress. She's the founder and creative force behind the luxury fashion brand Blanc and Eclair, um, which is awesome, by the way. Best sunglasses. Oh, thank you. And <laughs> most recently, oh, it's just the best. Um, and most recently, most recently, the New York Times best-selling author of Shine. Congratulations! Thank you, Shine. <laughs> Yay! Yay! You just hit the list last week, like instantly when it came out. So I'm so happy oh, for you. Oh, oh, it's it's unreal, actually. Uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's something new to me. So I couldn't really believe it. I, I just, you know, my friends were congratulating me and everybody around me were like, what's happening? But I was like, I actually don't know. I don't. Is it real? <laughs> it's a huge deal. I know. This is like your I debut know. novel, you know, so for it to hit right out of the gate, that is so special. Um, and the book so is so much. special. So I am so Well, well you were also on the list too, so congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. That's very kind. <laughs> it was really cool to be on the list with you, so yeah. Um, so I am so excited to chat with you today about Shine. Um, so for everyone who's watching, we're going to chat a little bit for about 15 to 20 minutes um, about Shine, about the book, um, and about the process that Jessica went through to write this book. And then we're going to open up to audience questions for 15 to 20 minutes. And Jessica is going to pick um, some questions out from the comments. So start putting in your comments and questions now, um, and we'll get to it in about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so tell us a little bit about Shine and like if you want to give an abbreviated answer or six words or less or whatever works best for you. Six words. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> a, uh, wait, wait a second. I think, can you not see me or? I can see you. Can you yeah. see me? I think I'm sorry about that. Just oh no. That's okay. Hang in there. Wait a second. No worries. I know you're we're on the opposite sides of the globe, so oh, come on internet, don't fail us now. This is the thing about doing things live. You never know what's gonna happen. So what I'm seeing is I'm, I have a frozen screen now for Jess. Oh no, and now we've lost Jess. Can you guys still hear me? I hope it's not my thing. Um, okay, we're gonna try this again. Don't worry, we're gonna get this. <laughs> you guys are so sweet in the comments, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see gonna do this again. We'll get Jess back. You guys are so nice. I hope you're all well there, wherever you are. Oh, bless. Okay, I see Jess trying again here. <laughs> Hi, Jess in the comments. Okay. You guys are so encouraging. Thank you. Yay. There you are. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's okay. It's a, it's a, the internet. Sorry ah. Yay. Okay. We got you back. And Yay. So okay. Clear, so, so. so um, shine in six words. Um, a K-pop trainees dream come true. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> that is a really good description in six words. <laughs> I'm really yeah, it's, it's true. Like it's it's about her quest of becoming a K-pop star. So mm -hmm. um, I have to say, um, I blew through Shine in a single sitting, um, <laughs> which is rare for me because I am a slow reader. Um, but the story is such a lush, fun, just romantic story and I liked Rachel the instant she appeared I loved her family um 
I know in the audience, I'm sure I'm not the only one who has been struggling to find a comfort read during this pandemic. So if you haven't read Shine yet for whatever reason, please go pick it up. Um, so how does it, how does it feel to be an author? There's the beautiful book. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> you know, it's something new to me. So it's exciting and it's kind of nerve wracking and scary and it's, but in the end it's fun and it's something I've never yeah. done before. Um, but you know, everybody's so supportive and they help me out so much. So, uh, I had a, I really enjoyed my time, um, writing this book and I'm so happy that it's finally out in the world. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but all my projects are very personal to me, like mm -hmm. whether it be my brand, Blanc and Eclair, or my album, or Shine. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody enjoys it. <laughs> Yay! How was the creative process for you? Because I know you've, you've been able to do so many different things in your life, so many different, in so many different creative industries that are very different from each other. Um, how was the process for jumping into writing for you and compared to like fashion and music? You know, creative process, um, it is definitely something new, but I think, um, you know, the inspiration and everything, it's just very connected and like mm -hmm. being, being creative, you have to, you know, make something new. You need to, um, create a story and even mm -hmm. for fashion you, you need to create a story for your line and for music you need to create a story for your song and your album mm -hmm. so um it was just a little slight switch but um but yeah i really enjoyed it <laughs> i love that at the core of all of the things that you've done it still comes back to story um, yeah. over and over and i i love that common theme about everything um how much did the book change because for me i know that when i'm writing um, I go through like 10 or 12 different huge revisions of my books before they get to like the final version that I'm satisfied with. What was it like going through revisions for your book? Um, and were there any scenes that you loved, but you had to, you know, cut out or something? Um, hmm. There weren't a lot of huge changes. Like the plot was very, um, it was very sturdy, but um, mm -hmm. there was a scene where Jason and Rachel first meet, and um, that was very different because in the early draft, um, they were going to run into each other at a fan meet and greet. Um, that was at, cute. <laughs> yeah, at Jason's concert when Leia had to like drag her in, but okay. we changed that to, you know, now, right now, they meet on the way to the trainee house. So mm -hmm. um, I think, but I think that was a little bit more, I don't know, a bit subtle and, but yeah. cute. So it's one of my uh, favorite scenes. I love that scene too. It's such a good introduction yeah. to the both of them. Um, yeah, that's like really she didn't hear that you had a different one. <laughs> yeah, but um, I think this was, this is more real. Like, you know, mm -hmm. going to a concert and meeting at a fan meet and greet um, I mean, that could be real too, but I feel, you know, how they meet right now is much realistic. I agree. Um, and so on a related note, was there a favorite scene that you love writing that, that did, so what was the, like in the final book, what was your favorite scene? Favorite scene in the final book? Yeah. Um, hmm. When, um, can I say everything like this? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, if it's a spoiler, don't worry. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, you know, when Rachel finally can, you know, stand up for herself and, you know, throw Mina's phone into, into a glass of water. Yes, that was like what, um, yeah, that's one of my favorite scenes. And that's a breakthrough for Rachel. So, love it. yeah. I love reading that scene. I could tell that you love writing that scene. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, but then, you know, you know, I also had some questions for you because, you know, it's the first time actually um, speaking to an author like this. Oh, thank you. Um, so, you know, I was so nervous when, when, um, 
when we were first publishing this book. Um, but I just wanted to know if you are nervous now, now that you have published so many books. Oh, gosh. Um, that's such a good question. I, I still get nervous all the time. Yeah, I think it's, it never really goes away for me. I'm, I'm such an introvert by heart. And mm -hmm. I didn't ever, I didn't, I don't think I ever really understood everything that went into the writing industry. So I just wrote for fun as a kid and I loved it. And I didn't know what I was getting myself into when I got published. And I was terrified that first year. And even now, you know, I'm, I'm not a natural at doing events or, or talking in public. Or no, anything. you're a natural. Like, look at what oh, you're, you're doing so now. <laughs> you're you so have nice. all, you have your, your beautiful bookshelf. <laughs> it's a good distraction from my anxieties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I do get nervous. Do you still get nervous? I know you've done so many things. I... Well, this time I was very nervous because I didn't know what I was getting into. Like, mm -hmm. when it was published, I was like, you know, are people even reading it? You know, are they, are they buying it? It's just, I was, um, yeah, I had no idea. But, um, yeah, but I, I couldn't be happier right now. Well, I love, love, love. One of my favorite things about you is that you are so brave to jump into different creative industries like that is a very hard thing to do you know to put yourself out there in a world that is completely new and different um so i think that's really admirable and i think it's a really good message to give to young readers um who i know will all read and love 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 shine so i am so super happy for you um okay i'm keeping an eye on the time i've got a couple more questions for you um so one of okay so one of my favorite things about shine is the variety of relationships in this book. Um, mm -hmm. You've got those between Rachel and her family, um, as well as the ones between her friends and her love interests, and they're all so deeply and intricately designed. Um, did you have a favorite character to write and a favorite relationship to write about? Because there's so many good ones in this book. There are so many good ones, actually. Um, but I have to say my relationship with not my relationship, but Rachel's relationship with Leia is, <laughs> is particularly my, my favorite. Um, because, oh, I because, so. because, yeah, I have a little sister, um, you know, yeah. she's sweet. And I really wanted to um, portray that in the book very accurately, just how we're very supportive of each other, even when she was young. And, um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I feel in the sequel, she'll also have a pretty big role. <laughs> yeah, I love Leah, like, so that's exciting to hear. Yeah, Leah's, Leah's so cute. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, and if you were actually to meet your characters, mm -hmm. who would you be friends with? The Cho Twins. I so, <laughs> yeah, the, the Cho Twins are so cool. Um, they they have Rachel's back no matter what and they fly mm -hmm. to the you know US for her um i actually have my best friends are twins and they live in new york um so so yeah they were definitely inspired by my friends <laughs> mm -hmm. i really wanted rachel to have twins in her life yeah. so, so i love yeah. that I love that so much. Um, Wait, do you do you actually? So another question: Do you yeah. um, write based on like your life and your life experiences, or does it like mm -hmm. really come out of just fantasizing? I I mean I write like I write sci-fi fantasy, so a lot of it is fantasy. But I think you can't help but put a little bit of who you are in your heart you know, into right. your books, right? It's, I mean, you know, we all say that we write fiction, but, but it is, you know, we are putting our heart and soul into our books. And the great thing about fiction is you can kind of play with those details. So, um, yes. yeah, I think, I think all of my characters have a little bit of me in them, um, for better or worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I get that question all the time. Because, yeah. I mean, this is based 
on you know my life experiences but it is fiction so they're like what's true and what's false but i always I say it's, fiction, it's right? up to it's yeah. up to the readers to decide <laughs> exactly that's the thing like it's not autobiographical you are not writing mm -hmm. your life story this is oh. this is fiction this is a good read you know so yeah and i think good fiction always should feel like it could some be something that happens and um and i think that's what we get in shine and that's probably Yay. one of the best things about it yeah <laughs> yeah um I've got one last question for you and then we'll open up to reader uh, questions, if that sounds okay. good. Um, so, my, sorry, I've got my little notes here. Um, so, is, so Rachel, has, Rachel has huge, huge dreams. Um, mm -hmm. She's also facing the reality that this is a very difficult dream to achieve. And this mm -hmm. is one thing that I really identified with Rachel on is um, the pursuit of dreams that feels so big and so unwieldy that you question if it's worth pursuing. Um, mm -hmm. Is there a message in Shine that you wanted to share with young readers who maybe have um, similar huge, huge life goals? Um, you know, I always think that you should dream big and reach for the stars. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I dream of something, I feel I kind of float in that direction because I work for it. Um, and I, mm -hmm. and I really encourage, you know, my friends and my readers to dream big and just kind of work towards that goal. Then one day, like you're there and you achieved it. And that's when, you know, that's when all the happiness and everything just falls, yeah, falls along. So, um, so yeah, dream big. I love it. It's such <laughs> a good message, especially for young girls out there. So thank you for writing this book for everyone. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, this was so fun. Okay, now I don't want to- Yeah, I have it with me right now. So I'm just like, kind of, hey. <laughs> Darling, dream big. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to open up to reader questions now. And Jess, you mentioned that you would like to go ahead and pick them out. Um, sure. Right? Okay. So keep adding your questions, everyone. And Jessica will go ahead and answer that. I am looking at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to browse too. This is fascinating. Yeah. Jessica, I love your English. How did you increase it? Well, the thing is, I was born and raised in San Francisco. Um, but working in Asia, I did kind of lose it a bit. Um, but now I have some friends. I mean, I mean, I have a lot of friends who speak English. And we're constantly just trying to, you know, improve. And now that I'm doing interviews and you know, this kind of events with, with people in English, I think I just kind of, kind of learn day by day. <laughs> but it's always hard, because like, you need to increase your vocabulary and, right? And just speaking in front of people is kind of nerve wracking. Yeah. What else? Do you see any questions? Because I see a lot of comments, but not what questions. We, um, there are a lot of comments, a lot of love. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, there's a question. Would you dive into writing a different genre of books? Mystery different fantasy. Genre. Maybe when I'm... What, maybe when I get older... I might yeah. want to do like a <laughs> like an autobiography of like my so life, yeah. but because I feel you know right now doing it as a fiction is fine and it's very fun, but mm -hmm. as an autobiography, I think it'll be more you know deep and intense, you know. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Um... What was the most difficult part about writing Shine? So you know what? The most difficult part was revisions and proofreading. <laughs> it's, 
it's um you know you always have to find mistakes and um just fixing all of those and i i didn't want to let go of my book you know i didn't want i didn't want it to go to printing i was like i still have to work on it but you know i i could do that all day every day and i wouldn't be able to publish it so um I'm so that's why I think there's a deadline <laughs> set for us. This is this is why authors have deadlines, truly, because otherwise I would be the exact same way. Like I'm, they're they're like we're going to the printer now, and I'm like I need to change one more sentence. Um, so <laughs> the same way. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna keep browsing too. Oh, um, I see a couple that are says, what character trait does Rachel have that you wish Jessica had? Um, she's more bold. Um, I think I was a little bit more shy while well, she has a voice and she, um, she isn't afraid of, you know, speaking up for herself and, and kind of doing what she wants while I was a little bit more shy and mm -hmm. maybe kind of introverted at first, it took me a while for me to open up to camera and yeah, to people, I guess. Also, I'm very sorry if you hear a dog barking downstairs, my dog is going oh. bonkers. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay, let me see here. I see a comment that says, I'm so stuck on Marie's shelf in the back. Oh. Like, <laughs> color coded. It's so beautiful. Right? It's so beautiful. I only did it because I moved. Like, my shelf was a hot mess before I moved, like, a year ago. And finally, I was like, this is my chance to actually oh. organize my shelf. <laughs> where where do you live right, right now? I live in LA. LA. I live in Studio City now. Yeah, I used to be in Santa Monica. I've just kind of been moving around the city. Oh, yeah. wait, I'm still looking for, let's do like another, like one more question, but okay. let's see. Hmm. Lots of love <laughs> in the comments for you, Jez. Um, see, there are a lot of like comments. Yeah. <laughs> I think people are just really, really excited to be here. Yeah. Um, okay, well, I've got some extra questions for you. Um, now that we have a chance. Um, let's see, do you have any rituals um, you need to take before you write? Because I tend to like, I have to have my headphones on, I've got to have music on, I need to have tea with me all the time. Do you have really? like some habits that really help you like, get into the creative zone? You know what? Um, I think I like to have a really quiet and really, you know, clean working space. But yeah. um, I'm usually on the go and I'm, I travel a lot for work. So mm -hmm. I don't think I have the luxury to, you yeah. know, yeah. have a ritual and, um, and kind of pick and choose my workspace. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, I can work anywhere and anytime, mm -hmm. but preferably mm -hmm. I would choose to work somewhere that's quiet, maybe a hotel room or the airplane. The, the plane is one of my favorite places to, to work, whether it be writing lyrics or, uh, or writing a book. I love that. I used to not be able to work on planes at all, but um, really? after like a couple of years, I was like, this is actually a really nice spot because no one can email you and no one can text you. And you're just like <laughs> yeah. stuck in this tin box in the sky. <laughs> but now there's Wi-Fi, but I choose not oh to goodness. use Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> it only works for me like 10% of the time anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you had, like, since the pandemic started, um, uh -huh. has your creative process been different? Like, are you working on book two right now? And has that been very different for you compared to book one? Um, 
I am working on book two at the moment, um, and I'm I'm also working on um, music. Um, oh my gosh! But when do you sleep? <laughs> I you know I get my sleep. I I kind of tr- I I tend to juggle everything quite well. So I I kind of focus when I have to, and then kind of let go when I mm-hmm. when I can. So mm-hmm. um, so yeah, but because of this pandemic, my album was kind of delayed. Yeah. But then, okay. yeah. yeah. But then, I have time to, you know, work on it, and yeah. I have time to. Um, you never wanna, you never wanna let go, like even for the album. Like, it's. Mm-hmm. I keep on wanna fixing my, the lyrics or or like my my vocals so it's just mm-hmm. non-stop but um yeah. but yeah i'm still working on it and hopefully like, we can release it soon um and yes i'm working on the sequel and um yeah i hope you guys i kind of look forward to that because it'll be a little bit more closer to um closer to my life i guess mm-hmm. Yeah, because this because then Rachel will be an actual K-pop star. Like she's kind of right. Yeah, yeah. Days. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, so excited it'll to read be, it. Yeah, it'll be. Um, uh, yeah, it'll be more realistic, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is super exciting. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and okay, I'm gonna scroll a little bit more and see if what we have here. Um, Wait, Actually, do you have I'm any, sorry. sorry, I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have any tips on writing a sequel? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> I hate writing sequels. Um, oh. I don't know why I write series all the time because okay. sequels are so hard for me because mm-hmm. they're like these bridge books, you know, from the first one has like a very clear beginning. Um, Advice for sequels? That's such a good question because I don't get asked that a lot. Um, <laughs> I feel like for sequels, it's all about building out character. And I think that readers are more patient with you on book two. I think they're, they're like, they're invested in your world. They're invested in Rachel. They're invested in you know her family and her friends. So you have some more time to get into um, the character development in book two. Um, I tend to feel the pressure in book one of like starting off with a bang, like you've got to hook people right away. And I think in book two, you get a little bit more freedom to delve into like the internal struggles of, of Rachel and maybe the, you know, getting into like the deeper story behind um, relationships and troubled relationships and what they're thinking and the, you know, ramifications from book one that kind of thing. And I think readers really hunger for that in book two. You know, mm-hmm. they've, they've grown attached to your characters already in book one. And now they're like, oh my God, I want to know what they're thinking. I want to know what they're feeling um, mm-hmm. even more so uh, than in the first one. So I think you've got the advantage on your side in terms of um, everybody rooting for your characters. And I didn't know that when I first started the sequels, you know? So I think you'll do all of that and more in the sequel to, to shine. So. All your readers will be super, super excited. And don't forget about that. <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah. I see um, some questions about self-improvement in life. And you had just mm-hmm. mentioned that you have a really good sense of balancing your time and your life. Um, and you jump from all these different industries. So how, what is your strategy for a work-life balance? What is my strategy? Mm. <laughs> I think I'm very lucky because um, all the work that I do is what I love. So, yeah. you know, if you enjoy yourself, even if there's tons of work, you're just really, you're just really happy. You're, you're very content. Mm-hmm. Um, and you also, have to have a lot of people supporting you like like your family or your close friends Mm -hmm. um if you have great people around you um 
I think they help to take care of uh, take care of you like yeah. um, they'll kind of remind you to like my mom would always be like you have to eat lunch you have to eat dinner yeah. like did you, you know it's like the typical Asian yeah. mom but um, so Asian <laughs> right <laughs> like where does your energy come from? It comes from food. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> yes. And like, you know, my friends would be like, you have to go to sleep, you know, then I, yeah, um, it just, they kind of do a friendly reminder for me. So, you know, they're very supportive and just having good people around you is my, mm -hmm. um, my tip. That's a great tip. And it, cause it's so easy to forget about self care when you're, mm -hmm. you know, ambitious and you're going at things and um it's nice to have a good support system around you that can remind you that you're important. yeah and and there was just something that i realized not too long ago is that you do have to know how to let go because mm -hmm. i'm kind of like a perfectionist nice, yeah. um i don't want any mistakes mm -hmm. but it's only natural mm -hmm. to make mistakes and it's only natural to you know, go through a hard process. Nothing's easy. So, um, absolutely. So yeah, you just have to admit the facts that you can make your, it's okay to make mistakes and you should absolutely. know that. <laughs> That's such a good point. Okay. Um, uh, if you have, do you have another question that you want to pick from the audience? Um, um I can also jump into lightning round questions. Yeah, yeah, the lightning round. Wait, uh, yeah, let's, let's go to the lightning rounds. All right, let's do it. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good morning and good night. <laughs> First, I'm going to do a thing that I don't. Oh, God, I'm messing it up. I'm trying to pin this comment of where you, we can find your book on Barnes and Noble, and it keeps uh -huh. scrolling by. And I'm trying, okay, I got it. It's pinned. Oh, it's pinned. <laughs> Yay, I'm so proud of myself. This is like Yay. my second time on IG Live, so. <laughs> oh. Really um, okay, lightning round. Beach or mountains? Beach. Beach. Favorite item of clothing? Denim. Denim, I love it. Um, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke, me too. You? Um, yeah, Coke is just, I like Coke. Um, <laughs> must, must visit place in Korea. Um, well, it's probably going to be my flagship store, which is opening in December. Yay! Oh my God, it's so exciting. So we're working on that as well. <laughs> That's so cool and awesome. <laughs> so when um, you come to Korea, please visit. Oh, I'm there. Um, Long Claire flagship store. I'm so excited. That will be my first stop next time I'm in Korea. Yay! Um, okay, most useful phrase to know in Korean? Oh, hmm. Useful phrase. 감사합니다. Thank you. Because I think oh. people are very, um, uh, uh, how should I say it? It's like, thank you is something you say all the time. It's just, mm -hmm. yeah, in whatever situation. It's just, 감사합니다. <laughs> so, 감사합니다, yes. 감사합니다. <laughs> um, first celebrity crush? Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> oh my god, me too! Really? I, I crushed on him so hard as a teenager, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him in the basketball diaries and I was like, who is that? Wow. Yeah. And then I saw him in Titanic with everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him in Titanic and I was like, what? That kind of person <laughs> exists. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, go to a karaoke song. I don't like going to a karaoke, so I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's weird because as a singer, going to a karaoke is just kind of, I don't know, a little bit of cringe for really? me. This is my <laughs> I get really shy. I get really shy and I kind of go really? and, yeah, I go and my friends sing and I'm just kind of, you know, hanging out. 
<laughs> it's my chance to um, hear other people sing, so. Oh, I love it. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, do you believe in fate? I, I think so. I can't believe it's a lightning round question. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, comedy or drama? Drama. Drama. Me too. I love good drama. Yeah. And a good comedy, but usually drama. Yeah, usually drama. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's all the time we have. Um, I think we're wrapping up now, but thank you everyone for all of your wonderful questions and all your kind comments. And just, it was so fun to talk to you. You are so wonderful and your book is so good. Um, I can't wait for, you know, so many people are reading it and so many more are going to read it and love it. Um, I'm so excited and happy for you. So congratulations on your New York Times bestseller list. And Yay! I can't wait for book two. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so for everyone watching, um, you can find Jess's uh, book, Shine, at Barnes & Noble. There's a pinned comment there um, and a link. So tap through uh, and you'll find it. And thank you all so much. And... Take care of yourselves. Stay Thank safe. You, Thank you. Take care Take of yourselves. Care. Bye.